This is a second chance to have this experience. You go out into the wilderness and you be the last one back. You got 10 items. You have to stave off hunger, defend yourself from nature, try and overcome the elements. And the one who does that the longest is the one who's gonna win the money. First off, I selected a sleeping bag rated to negative 40. Got an 850 down fill. I plan on being very comfortable and warm inside of here. I'm also taking 80 meters of paracord because you can do many things between setting traps, setting up your shelter, and stringing up your food to keep away from the bears that are gonna be in the area. My third item is three and a half pounds of 20 gauge trapping wire because we should have ample opportunity to trap a number of animals that will be in this area. For my fourth item, I'm taking a reverse draw saw. It's got a 14 inch blade. I prefer this over the bow saw, which you cut going forward. This one cuts on the draw and I can also use it with both hands. For my fifth item, I'm again taking my BK7 knife. This is the same knife that I took to Patagonia. It's got a seven inch blade and a 1029 steel. I came back home and it was almost as sharp as when I left. Uh, I wouldn't go anywhere without it. I use it every day at home. The next item I'm taking with me is my multi-tool. I mean, there's so many things I can do with something like this from assisting me in setting my traps, crafting of small traps, kind of a utilitarian device, and I can do a whole lot of things with this. The next thing I'm taking with me is my two-quart pot. This has many uses, cooking my food, to foraging, to boiling my water, to washing my underwear. This was like an everything in one pot, and I couldn't do it without one of these. I'm also taking 300 yards of monofilament fishing line, along with an assortment of hooks, a number of hooks that have iridescent coloring on them. Since we're not afforded lures, then sometimes the fish will be attracted to the coloring or just you know what catches their eye in the water. I'm also taking my ferro rod and my striker. I know how to make primitive fires, and I pondered actually not bringing one so I could have another item. But I really don't think that it would be smart to travel without these because uh, Staying warm is gonna be essential to lasting out here. And lastly, I'm bringing my 62 inch, 50 pound draw, three piece takedown recurve bow. I am counting on ample opportunities to try and take large game. There are animals out here just waiting to be taken. And so I, along with my bow, are gonna try and make that happen. <laughs> 